Chapter 7, The Legend of the Spirit Triad. Warning, this chapter gets a bit adult because of dark words like corpse, but there is no swearing. Long ago, before the beginning of time itself, there was one entity, the Grey, who was just living in total darkness, longing for something else to end his loneliness. He created another entity, Artheria, the Spirit of Light, through the event known as the Big Bang. This brought light and stars to the universe. Then a third was created, one that would soon come to be known as Crunch the Rock Dog, the spirit of Earth. His existence created worlds and life. They created many civilizations and made a lot of history possible. So if you were all brothers, what happened? asked Applejack in the present after hearing the beginning of the story. Well, it was about when ponies first came around that things went downhill, said Arthuria, as her daughter had just arrived. Let's say I had a major falling out, but you see we created the three main pony tribes. I created unicorns, Crunch created earth ponies, and the great created pegasus ponies. I discovered that once we all gained solid forms, that the gray isn't immortal, but has the ability to re we took many apprentices from every magical creature species we've ever created except ponies. Katrina is one of our apprentices. The others chose to only socialize with each other and their pupils, but I grew curious about the lives of our children, so I chose to walk among them. What I saw amazed me, and I encouraged the others to try and become a part of everyone's lives, and it worked for some time. That was until the Grey discovered a new ability that all of us had, but, I on, but only I refused to use. He could gain force others to do his bidding, an ability he calls Obey. And yes, that's very poorly named. Once they discovered this ability, they started using ponies as if they were toys. But the Obey ability was limited to only the pony tribes they created. And since there were only there were three, only one tribe was free to rebel against them. The unicorn tribe, said Princess Twilight, as the others nodded at her guess. Yes, they tried fighting to free the other tribes on their own, but they discovered the two were smart and unstoppable when working together, said Arthuria, as the others returned their attention. So they sought me out for help. So I went before the Grey, demanding for him to stop using ponies like this, but he accused me of treachery and turned my own kind against me. So I was forced to wage a war against those I once called family, but one that I quickly realized if I didn't stop, it would rage on until this present day and forever. So knowing that defeating them was impossible, I did the one other thing to save the pony tribes, but it would forever make them hate me. I cast a spell and the gray and the gray who had managed to possess another reincarnation of his at the time. Many centuries passed and I didn't see either of those two for some time, but I knew one day the gray would return for revenge by finding a way to break the spell that had banished the last member of our group and our indestructible army of followers. I guess today is that day. So the reason why Rumble is possessed by the Grey is because he's his in reincarnation, one of the descendants of the first Pegasus ponies he created, said Rainbow Dash, who managed to confirm this. So how does this tie into you knowing the princess? Oh well, Star Swirl was the only one of the Star Swirl. Star Swirl was the only one of the original group of unicorn ponies I granted a long life to, and he told me that one day it might not be enough that unicorn ponies they can't control because they didn't create them. So what if there was a fourth tribe? We put together plans that would lead to the creation of the Alicorn tribe, which had all of the connections to the three. But because they weren't created by the spirit tri tri ad, triad. triad, none of us would be able to control an alicorn because they weren't 
corn ponies, said Arthuria, even as even Princess Luna raised an eyebrow. But I knew because of my foresight powers, you two would be the only ones for a long time, but there would soon be more, so things had to wait. Plus, I had no idea where the gray was hiding while you two were in Star Swirl, the bearded school. Many centuries passed, and a lot of things went down, but I managed to narrow it down to around the, the valley both Canterlot and Ponyville is in. But my abilities didn't allow me to identify who he was currently reincarnated as and possessing until now. I was in the middle of thinking about the future when he found me first and dragged me into a battle that he wanted to go down in your old castle so I would return to this form easily because he knows I'm at my weakest in this form. But, but you decided to bring your brawl with him into a public place because you were losing to them, said Princess Celestia with a sigh. So not only is the father of all evil out to get my mentor, but he's also possessing a cult. Anything else we should know? Oh, yeah. Him beating me up to the point where I return to my energy form is just one part of his revenge against me, said Arthuria, who got them all worried. I kind of banished the other member of our group and all of our followers to our home dimension when they wouldn't change their ways and he might be planning to break the spell that is keeping them there. They are completely loyal to them, unlike the cat, they tend to hold grudges. They all looked at each other and thought, just one word, oh, ah. It's uh-oh. Uh-oh. 